It's that time again. What's up, everybody? This is Dad's Land and Fab. Hope you enjoy the show. Deuces. Oh, God, we're just back with the shit coke again. <laughs> Boom! Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode of Dad's Lads and Kebabs and Mickey with his shitty Oreo Coke again. Do you like it? To be honest, it's all I've got to drink, apart from my vitamins, which I haven't drunk yet, and I couldn't be asked to make coffee. Yeah, so it is a lovely day. A lovely day. It's a bit wet, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's been... <laughs> it's an... wetter. Than an otter's pocket. Pocket. It's, it's <laughs> been an it's been an interesting week at work, and let's just say tomorrow I'll be so happy, or Friday as we're filming, that the week is done. Because oh. ev- everything is so heavy, so so muddy. It's it's like filling a grave, and everything gets caked in mud. Yet the mud is like yeah. nut- like Nutella. It looks like Nutella, and it's sloppy gooey clay and it weighs four ton so you can't move it's awful absolutely awful we've had so many funerals after funerals and it's uh, everything's full of water it's the weather though isn't it i know the colder it gets the wetter it gets the more people get ill but we've had three months of rain in less than a week so i know like and it's been don't get me wrong. I love the weather. I love it. I like to enjoy. Like I know for you, it's different because you you don't like it because of you know work and stuff. But mm. aesthetically, I like the weather. I like oh. the rain. Yeah, rain's all right. I don't mind rain. I it love the fact that time and place drawing in. The funnest part for me this week, I've got to say, is I've watched. I've probably watched a couple of hours worth of videos of people submerging their cars into. Just you know, like people drive into puddles and their engine stops at the other side. They, they think they can get across. Yeah, and I'm just like, you're it. fucking stupid. Like, soon, like, engines and water and intakes do not mix. Like, stop trying it. No one should be trying it. <laughs> yeah, you get some idiots, though, don't you? I mean, I don't get me wrong. I've been for a few puddles this week. I know that for sure. Mm. But like, especially the hill, because obviously I live at the top of a hill. And at the bottom of the hill is a main road um, where Asda is. Yeah. You've yeah. been to my house, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That entire road flooded and it was coming up the hill. Wow. So it was pretty bad down there, but not to the point where I was like, well, I didn't need to go anywhere, so it's fine. Yeah, I work from home. Fuck you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But, you know, it's been, there's loads of light and it's supposed to carry on. It's not supposed to be. Um, it's not supposed to stop any time this week anyway. I know that for sure. It's supposed to rain all the all the all all through the night tonight. Tomorrow, it's not going to rain Saturday, but then the rain's back Sunday, Monday next week. <laughs> Fucking joke. Hey. I'm going home and my boxes are wet. That's how wet oh, I am through. Top to sopping bottom. Sopping through. <laughs> yeah, because of the sheer amount of rain we've had. Yeah. And wa- waterproofs will only stop so much constant rain. Yeah. It's an... Plus, you got once once the rain hits, you need to reproof your clothing as well. I know, but you need to get water. You need to reproof it. Get some proofing spray. We we need we need some uh, sympathy for Mickey working in the cemetery in in this awful weather. Please, come on. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's working. Mickey Mickey's got a job, people. <laughs> he's out there. He's he's only got a, he's only gone and had a job for the sort of the past year. How long have you been working? It's got when when did you start? Nearly nine months now. Fuck me. Yeah. Look at you go. Goes quick, doesn't it? You're a clay kicker now, mate. Through and through. It's virtually October. So he's virtually October. By well, the time be, this episode's out, anyway, it might it might be October then, yeah. How are you? Let, let's just, let, do you know what? Let me ask you just in general as a person, as a mate, how are you doing? I am good. Yeah. My, how are you my, feeling? Tired. How are you feeling in yourself? Um, myself is feeling itself. <laughs> it's, if you're not yeah. feeling yourself, no one else is. <laughs> well, no. no, it's good. I, I'm all good at the moment. 
life is uh, life is happy so good yeah good how are you it's better than p did isn't it <laughs> yeah they reckon 25 to life he's getting <laughs> mate i think i hope they uh give him some of that babe oil he's gonna need it that's <laughs> slippery he must have come and worked with me fucking hell there's oh, enough slippery mate. stuff at work <laughs> oh, mate. oh what a week eh? it's been all sorts going on mate in the fucking news this week all the bad shit in the world keeps carrying on more nonces more wars you know more fucking Man. yeah more pensioners are definitely not getting that heating allowance now all sorts is going on i know we've even given keir starmer a fucking free box at arsenal as well because he's not protected in his seat fuck yeah, it also, he, should, he should not be going there now he's yeah, busy if, i think if he's paid for a seat and he, he's a season ticket holder yeah he is yeah. he should he should have to sit in his seat yeah fuck him they should be like, no, I'm not sorry. I don't care who you are. If you want to attend these games every other weekend or whatever, you're fucking sitting in your seat that you paid for. Oh, well. Least, and his wife's getting all the clobber. His wife's yeah. been running up clothes, clothing bills in his name. Hasn't his son as well? I don't know. I don't know I the mean, answer. I mean, I, I can't be that asked to follow politics, mate, if I'm being totally honest with you. No. Because honestly, all the bad shit's going on in the world and Keir Starmer's got a box and... He's fucking. He's got. He's got all the gear and no idea. Literally. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't. It wouldn't be safe. I don't think amongst the normal no. folk in a in a football stadium. A lot of them are old. You need my fucking pension money. And then my oh, heating yeah. allowance. Bastard. Them old. Them old gutter supporters. <laughs> yeah. The old. Fucking it'll be, hell. It'll be pension soon. Bus passes. It'll all be going. Oh. Oh, I've got to drop in there as well. So, just because we might as well have a little recommend stuff to each other. So, I just watched a little box set. It's only a six-parter on um, BBC iPlayer. Shout out. No, definitely. No. no <laughs> I was about to shout out the BBC. That'd be silly, Niall. That, I would, right, I would, no. I'll take that no, back, right? We don't do Listen, that. <laughs> there's a program know. on the right. channel of the BBC... Yeah, it's a six. It's a six-part thriller drama, and it's called Night Sleeper. Okay, and it is about it's about a hijacked train, but they, it's hijacked through cyber rather than through physical men with guns and shit. And it basically it's it's the sleeper train from Glasgow to London. Okay, honestly, I'm gonna say. And I say this, I say this all the time, but it's probably one of the like the funnest watches that I've had in a long time. I've been like, like me and the old ball and chain, we finished. I can say that we're married, right? You can. We f we finished the uh, entire six episodes. Like we did four that evening and then two the following day. Yeah, and it was it's honestly it's a boss eps it's a boss little um, little six part drama. Give it a go. People like, go and watch I, it. Go I like and watch dramas. it. Have you ever it's watched a... The Tower on ITVX? Yes. Three series. I watched the third series last week. I binged it. I think there's only four episodes. I didn't even know there was a third series. Yeah, because it's good. I like it when they have the same people from each series. It's just mm. changing job in the police and that. Fucking brilliant. I love... But, yeah. You know you're getting old when you enjoy the dramas that your parents used to watch. Like... My, when I was a kid, I remember my mum watching Vera and all that sort of stuff. Now I'm yeah. like, oh, I can't, I can't wait for these winter murder dramas. Mm. Yeah, they are good. They keep you hooked, especially about crime. Obviously, murder yeah. is crime, but you know, crime dramas, I don't think there's anything better because it gets you hooked and you're like, oh, who did it? Yes. Like, so this know. one is, this one to me is interesting because obviously, I was like, I kind of like all, the, it was, it's, it's basically a giant hack where these hackers hack the entire system and they, they, they hack the entire nail, nail rail network. And honestly, it's quite clever. And I, I like that stuff because it makes you think. Yeah, yeah. And you get to learn about all the shit. But anyway, so I watched that yesterday and then the rail network apparently got hacked yesterday. <laughs> I've been watching your program. <laughs> Loads of people have been watching it, mate. Go and give it a go. If you want a little 
something to sort of sink your teeth into and enjoy, give it a go, man. Mm. Yeah. That yeah, sounds good. So what's been happening in the world of Mickey? Uh, I've started my Christmas shopping. Yay. You bastard. You yeah. beat me to it. Only... I've not started. It's, it's not much. It's nothing major. It's just like little bits and bobs. Yeah, that's how it starts. I got like 10 of these because these will be sold out very soon. And like last year, they were sold out all winter. Who does that belong to? Terry. It's not Terry's, it's mine. Terry's chocolate mint orange. <laughs> I got fucking loads of them. Got some Lindor bars on offer in Tesco. L- what? Lindor Fuck. bars? Oh, they're fucking heaven, man. You know, I've never had Wait, them. Wait, no, I love Lindor, man. I didn't know they did bars. Yeah, they've done them for years. Now you've been. And the, and the mint, winter mint crisp is out again for the. Oh, no. Yeah, no. I, got, I just got loads of those at the moment. Just stocking up, getting ready, waiting for the list from the kids. So they, so they, I wonder if they'll still give me a list. My daughter will probably wants stuff for her daughter, my grandchild, my granddaughter. You old uh, fuck you. Yeah, my son is working, so he probably doesn't need stuff, but he probably will. I think he wants a tattoo when he's 18. He's a 18 tattoo? Just, just after Christmas, yeah. How do yeah. you feel about that? How do you feel about your kids being tattooed? Because I'll tell you my story after you've said yours. But yeah, go on. How do you feel about it? Well, my daughter's got fucking loads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and my, my youngest... That's the one he wants a tattoo. It's up to him. But he showed me a picture the other day. He goes, oh, I want this tattoo. And it was like black stripes like this. He said, what do you think about that? I said, that's shit. <laughs> do not get that. He goes, oh, I've wanted that for a long time. It's from, from my, one of my favourite TV shows. And I'm like, it's just pure black. Black What's stripe the around the arm. What's I don't the know. Show? I don't know. But it's probably some like some Marvel show. TV series, I think. I don't know. Yeah, like it's an infinity. It's an, like an infinity loop, isn't it? That's what it we could be. It yeah, but I don't. I don't yeah. know who who has it on the the Avengers and all that. I've never seen that person. So maybe from a agent uh, car. Maybe he watches that all the time. So maybe it's on there. Can you imagine like he come with like a you know, you know the people that get the right no the writing like there. Oh. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Or Did people that get. Fuck- People, people that just get the hand <laughs> and nothing else. Nothing else, yeah. It's like, oh, that's the worst bit to fucking get done. You know. I know, but imagine that, like, oh, oh, you've got your hand, you've got your hand tattooed. You must have no other skin because you've done your hands. You must have like nothing else left. Oh, no, I was dead. Hello. Niall's dead. Come back to me. Niall. Niall's frozen. In time. He's not moving. Ah, I heard him. Is Niall oh. back? There he's I'm back. back. He's back in the room. Signal, mate. Signal. It's this yeah. weather. Thunder, it's... mate. I know. Yeah, it's, ama- the, uh... it's, a, it's amazing seeing the internet's underground, isn't it? There you go, mate. Yeah. Signal, though. Signal. It's it's signal, signal, yeah. Yeah, the, those people, man, they get like the hand. You must think, oh, you must. You're, you're hardcore. You are. You've got no other room. No, no, just pale white skin and me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nah, them, them, them sort of people you got to start on your on your arms normally and you start and work your way down the arm and then you think oh, i want to get a sleeve and then you think oh i'll do my back but then you realize the back's going to cost like 50 grand and it's like no that's why my back's naked apart from a little dog okay. i want a sleeve i am destined i think before i turn 40 i think that'll be That'll be like my midlife crisis. I think. I've got it's some sleeve. ideas for your sleeve. Yeah. When you hit 40. So you've got to have a 40 in there somewhere. The, the number 40 somewhere. And you've got to have uh, things that are connected, obviously, with your daughter, with your wife. Not necessarily names. Definitely not wife name anyway, because I've done that before. <laughs> Delete. <laughs> but kids is fine. Yeah, so your kids maybe uh, favorite places you've been to, and you can sort of have a sleeve made about memories I've of got, life. I've got and... an idea of what I want. So oh, I, know... I was just fucking trying to help you. No, no, yeah. and, and I'm How taking rude. what you said. I'm taking what you said into <laughs> consideration. Though, so I yeah, know, yeah. I know what I want 
Yeah. And I know what it obviously to symbolise and things like that. But then I've got wacky ideas, you know. Okay, like, come, hit me, hit me, come on, bitch. Like slap me. <laughs> I wanted like I've always wanted for some reason. I've always wanted a ship. Always wanted like a like a, a ship sail, like, rough, sailing boat. Yeah, like rough seas, ship that sort of thing. Um, but then at the same time, I've always and I, and I sound, I don't know why. But I've always wanted, do you know, like a blacked out, do you know, like a samurai with like, you know, like the pyramid hats they wear. Yeah. yeah. Those kind of samurais, but in like a, like a long sort of grassy field. I've always thought like, I'd love one of them. Okay. Like, and I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I like adventurous Japanese. ones. Japanese style for sure. Like all black and gray. Like, and I'd want to incorporate it somehow. I just don't want. I don't. I would. I wouldn't want to be called unoriginal for getting a sleeve. Like I want. It, I want it to be totally unique. Yeah. I just, and you know, like your your sleeve is is unique to you. Death arm. Everything. And then color arm of life. But but everything's unique to you and what you've decided to put in it. Oh, so yeah, you know, it's... there's all sorts of things that I want to put in there that would be unique to me. I think the only thing unoriginal is my panther tatty. Panther. Yeah, but you've incorporated it into other things, though. Well, that to go around it because I didn't have a choice. But I've had three. Are you, there. Do Are you done, by the way? Uh, no, I've got some space here. No, but are you? This song. Are you done personally? Are you? Do you feel like you're done for a no, little while? I've, or I've got. I've had a tattoo voucher for about a year and a half. I've just not gone to do it. I don't know why. So I want to get. Uh, some sort of cross on my chest, like under my collarbone, which is going to make me cry like a little girl. And uh, oh yeah, shit, that would be fucking I, horrible. Underneath, not on it, but underneath it, because there's a gap on this side, and I want to fill it uh, with a, a robin. But I want to, because I love robins. They're they're quite symbolic for me, and have been for a couple yeah. of years. So I found one in flight like this. It looks like an eagle, but it's a, obviously a robin. But the cross I want, I'm not sure about what sort of cross. I think I've seen some good ones where it looks like it's coming out the skin. You know, the ones yeah, yeah. that are, yeah, not like sure embedded if I'm, into, into embedded in and it's like being pushed, pushed out. So I'm not sure if that could be incorporated into the Robin or not. So, but that's what I want up here. And uh, probably some more leg ones, maybe. Well, yeah. Oh, that's the thing. I want a few. Like, I, I it's not the same, but my um, my little one has just had a she had her ears pierced, and Claire's. that was a big that was a big deal for me. No, uh, uh, super truck, super so oh, truck uh, now. Or lakes, at the lakes, yeah. Oh, nice. Um, and that was a big deal for me. It, it, like, I didn't, I didn't say it. I didn't, I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. I didn't want to be an asshole of a dad, like. But for me to do that, like, you know, it was like a big thing. Because take, she's growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, like, and mm. I don't know. I didn't realise I was that in depth in terms of, oh, stuff actually affects me. And I didn't realise it did. Like, you know, she'll do something at school, for example, and like, and she'll get rewarded for something. Or, and in my mind, in my insides, like weeping up you know physically i don't but mentally i'm like oh that that kind of you know like a bit of like a you know like someone punches you in the stomach sort of feeling yeah <laughs> like and i'm just like fuck oh she's getting older she's growing up and she's doing like you know she's got her own style now and she's very you know hmm. like she's falling into her own sort of into her own ways and it's mental it's wicked it's mental to see yeah, don't worry. The moon will be out soon, Niall. It's fine, and then you'll be even more busy. Yep. Oh, tell you, it's all coming. If, if he's get, if he's capturing my uh, reference. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. The dark side of the moon. <laughs> dark side of the moon is is coming. <laughs> yeah. No, exactly. So. And I, I think obviously when that comes, God knows, I'll be a busy man. A matter of weeks, should we say? It will be Halloween. 
will be here soon as well. It will, be quite good. will indeed. Yeah, it'd be a nice, uh, nice start. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. It'll all be good. Yeah, it'll all be good. Yeah. But, yeah, it's all, it's all, it's all fun. <laughs> it's all, bit... fun <laughs> all fun games. All fun games. Can't how's wait. The how's the chopper? No chopper? I thought he was asking me about my Corey then. No, my, my, my chopper's fine, thanks. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. Um, I don't like no, that no chopper. No noise, no noise this week. Yeah, that's that's the first time in like nearly two hundred podcasts that that's gone on. Two what? Of all the shit we've discussed in two hundred fucking shows, and I don't even know who you are, Mickey. <laughs> who the fuck's what? this bloke? Every week I look redder on this fucking show. I know. I you look redder. I can't in get it. I'm in my car. Like and I'm boom, so, boom. I'm so slouched. It's unreal. Like and I try and sit upright, but the problem is if I sit upright, my head will just go past the camera because of the balancing. So I have to slouch. This is Niall in this car. Oh hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> no. So what? So oh, you'd be so wearing what? glasses soon. Do you think you'll wear glasses? Oh, I think it's coming for sure. I d like. I've already told you about the knee thing. So, like. I think I'm going to end up with bad knees, um, bad knees, bad eyesight, and my hearing. I know my hearing because what? I am, I am <laughs> deaf to a post. Like my wife, mm -hmm. she'll be upstairs and she'll literally shout me, and I'll I'll turn around and go what? Like she's behind me, and I don't even. I think she's in the room and she's not because, but it's so distant i'm like i have to get close to it to hear her i think a lot of people nowadays have hearing aids they're so small however they do i don't know how they work there's a tube of a is, hole in the end how does that make is, sound it, it it sends it in well you can have them to the you can have them taped to you don't even have to go in your ear they can go on the back of your head you can have them implanted yeah i can't remember what it's yeah, called yeah. i mean the problem is i've got no problem not hearing I'd rather, when I get older, I'll be like, no, nah, there's your hearing aid up. Yeah. Turn that bitch down. I am going to be an, I'm going to be an old bastard in my fucking old years, man. I'm going to be yeah. like, I know. Do you, do you ever think it's just coming way too fast? No, I've sort of accepted it. I've accepted that my body doesn't like me anymore. And... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're a fucking dick, mate, right? Listen, we've had enough of you and your bullshit. We've had enough of you these fucking early mornings, right, making us get up. Honestly, we're going to fuck you up today. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's just... I mean, I wear glasses for driving now. Like, if I... If I, <laughs> if I have something... I can't see fucking shit. <laughs> that, well, that, that's... that's that's blurred now. That is the screen on my screen oh, is blurred. So I'm not that bad. There you go. That's, that's all right now. Blurred, blurred. Can't see shit. I can read again. Did you? Did you reach an age where that started happening quite quickly? All that sort of stuff. I, I've had glasses for at least probably six years for reading because I have. That, I, get, I get tested. What are you now? 40? 40, 45. Fuck me! I only thought you was only forty. So basically, boom, once you hit four, boom. <laughs> once you hit forty, you fucked. You fucked. Yes. Yeah, yeah thirty nine. So because I've had every two years, I get tested, and I've had three sets of glasses now. So you're you're forty five. You've probably got what like another another four. I reckon you've got another forty years in you. I hope so. I said I wanted to hit eighty, and then I'd sort of be happy, but probably I won't be when I'm that age. I want How ninety. You, when you when you when you get to that bit, yeah. How do you go, when you get to 80, right, for example, how do you go, yeah, I see, I'm happy now. <laughs> like, what? Like, like, fuck, <laughs> fucking kill me now. I'm done. Like there's an agreement of going, right, well, listen, you worked hard all your life. We're going to give you an extra 20 years. Because I think that's the scariest part for me about it. People, when you get old world, is, is retirement is like, 
75, is it? 75? No. That's 68. We've got about 75. It might be for you when you're older. Might be for me, yeah. So 68. And then you've perhaps got, I don't know, maybe 15 years after retirement, if if you're lucky. Yeah. Bearing in mind a lot of people, when they do hit retirement, once they stop working, once they stop having a purpose, their body shuts down anyway. And they fucking die. And I bury them. Oh, yeah, there you go. I don't know. See, I feel like I feel like men. I, I, know, I don't mean to be sexy because I'm sure it's women as well. But as a man, I feel like if you stop having a purpose, yeah, you know. women concentrate on everybody else, whereas men aren't like that. Men concentrate on their partner or their kids and their and their mates. Men have, co- have to have someone to fight for. I think. Yeah, women. I've even forgot what I was fucking saying. Senior moment. This is becoming men. a common thing. Yeah. Men being they have a man. no purpose, yeah. Whereas women are always busy with it in Actual everybody chopper. else. Actual chopper going over. Oh well, shit, it's a bigger. That's what she said. Yeah. Boom, boom. It's weird, isn't it? Because we're just talking about being a, being a man, and then yet, yeah, do you know what? As soon as I started talking about that, I actually thought, yeah, are we are we all right to talk about being a man? Is it all right to be a man this day and age? Do you reckon? I don't give a fuck. You want to cancel no, no, me? I no, I know. I I, God, cancel. Fuck me. Like, but, you know, the, you know, the, there's so many things when they talk about, obviously, men's mental health. You're going to get all the rain now. Do, do. What's your car doing? Talking to me. Shutting down. Boom, boom. Um, yeah, is it all right to be a man? Is it all right to, like, you know, and I don't mean... Be a man, drink Stella. You know, I put I put food on the table and all that sort of stuff. No, but just I'm talking about just be a man, just just to because you always feel like you could say the wrong thing. I always feel like, you know, is that the right thing to say? I stop myself now from, you know, I don't allow my I don't allow my thoughts. And they're not bad thoughts, or they're not like offensive, or you know. But I don't know. They're not. They're not. No, I'm quite. I'm quite a nice person, if you believe it or not. Like, I don't have, I don't wish anybody any harm or any ill or, like, but I have dick thoughts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I have thoughts like I'd love to swerve this puddle, swerve into this puddle right now, and like splash those ganga youths. You got <laughs> prison sort of... for that? Fucking hell! <laughs> Nowadays, have you ever have you ever done it? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's like? Obviously, what, what's what's something what's something you've done that's bit like pretty bad, like not a lot illegal, but what? To what's, another, what's, 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 no, another what's what's player. what have you done that's a little bit naughty? I don't know. I I used okay. to. No, I can't even say that because that's that's bad. My um, it involves Tesco anyway. When I was um. Yeah. When I was in my teens, my uh, my brother signed me up to a. Do you know, like it was like a catalogue adult. It was like an adult catalogue. Mm. Oh, and yeah, basically, yeah. I used to have that. Payboy yeah. was called. Payboy, that's it. Yeah, you used to get all yeah. the women in their underwear and all the dildos yeah, and, and it, all that. Yeah, he signed me. Up, he signed me up to it. But yeah, he kept yeah, signing yeah. me. He kept signing me up to it. And then one month it came with like a three, like a free thong and all that sort of shit. Oh man. <laughs> And he wore like, it, <laughs> but he kept, he kept he kept ordering it, so I was getting multiple like, and uh, it was like one at one point it would be like two catalogs a week, and my <laughs> mum was like, "What have you done? What have you?" And I was like, "This is not me." And yeah, he fucking signed me to that. Fuck me, yeah. like like shit like that. Like we've all done shit like that. See, I don't have the 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 family to do that with. Unfortunately, that would be fun to do shit like that. I t- I'm trying to think of anything bad that I've done. Did you ever tell you what? Did you ever egg a house on Halloween? Yes, yeah, yeah, Halloween, yeah. Little, yeah. Like the, we, the neighbors used, I didn't like, and that, yeah. We used to make these. We used to make these flower sacks, which was like uh, a sandwich bag, a sandwich bag filled with flour, and then you'd put the egg inside it, uncracked. 
Okay. And then you'd put more flour in it. So when the impact, when it would impact, obviously the flour would go, but yet the egg would just crack, like, hopefully, like, within the center. But what you've got to do is you've got to, you've got to leave the Ziploc bit off. Oh, so yeah. I was going to say, how is it coming off? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Ziploc, the Ziploc bit used to be undone. You used to throw it out. Fuck. Like now I think back and I think I'd be so pissed if somebody egged my house. Mm. I'd be fucking livid. And I think back and go, no, that's a dick move. And I feel like that's a sign of our old age. It's like the shit that I would find funny. I'm now going, yeah, but that's going to, that's going to be a lot. Of life. That's going to be the hose pipe, the brush, bucket of water, possibly some soap like bleach you yeah, to, yeah you, you're gonna have to clean that shit off the damage like when we used to throw toilet roll over trees like and i mean we, <laughs> used, we used to cover trees in toilet roll i've never done that have you ever done that no why would you what's what what'd you get for that halloween it was just like a thing like you'd cover a tree in toilet roll uh no i've never done that i have we, seen it we, on on americans do that. yeah we used to we used weird. to get the giant. We used to get the giant roll from school. So like someone, someone would take the giant roll out of the toilet. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd take it and we'd literally just cover a tree in it, and it, it, it was funny at the time. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Not anymore. <laughs> no, yeah, no, it's not. I can, I, I can think back of when I used to play football with the neighbours outside, and we'd, we'd uh, hit people's cars that were here. Oh, and, shit, yeah. and, and you used to think, oh, don't worry, the, the alarm's gone off or whatever. And you used to hit the house behind the garages. And I'm thinking, if that was me now, and kids are doing out hitting my car every ten minutes, I'd go fucking mad. You got ape shit. We would, and we used sometimes we used to hit cars really hard. You know, we smashed a few windows as well in the past in this street. I but, smashed. I. I knocked somebody's wind mirror off. We told him that, but yeah. I I was cycling home from my friend's house, and I, do you know, like, had a BMX, and do you know, like, like we was talking about this last week. Do you know, with a BMX, like, you you shove it side to side to get more momentum, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I remember shoving it side to side, and I remember as I shoved it this way, because I was going, I, I was going through an alleyway, and as I come out the alleyway, the car was parked, like their drive oh, yeah. was here. And the alleyway was here. And as I come out, like I just my handlebar just took the uh took the wind mirror off. Uh, and at that point, I was like, don't stop. Because I, I I watched it fall on the floor. So I was like, don't stop, just keep on going. Because the more you keep on going. I mean, luckily back then, no one had ring doorbells. <laughs> ring doorbells no. weren't a thing. You know? Whereas now, like, you'd get caught by about fucking twenty doorbells on the same street. Yeah, beep, 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 as you go down. Yeah. There would, uh, when I lived where I used to live, there was a thing like, uh, well, there was a, you can do this thing on ring where you, you can basically, everybody can link their rings together. So you can link, That's you can link your centipede, door. That's isn't it? You can, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Ask for us. Yeah, eat shit, <laughs> eat shit, poo shit. Um, but yeah, you can link, so you, you can see the entire street. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. Like through the door, but I was thinking, mate, AI is AI is going way too quick now for it that is. shit. It is. I like. But yeah, I did shit like that. No. Good. What for your bedroom door? Be like, yeah. mum, listen. When you want to come in, ring the bell. <laughs> yeah. Put the washing on. <laughs> She'd be yeah. like, ring my bell. <laughs> but when I get when I get a a house when I move out, I'll get a doorbell. Woo-hoo. Oh, do you know what I was thinking about? Because I, I was watching, um, I was watching uh, the, the, the Diary of the CEO the other night, and I told you I texted you, didn't I? Because I remember saying, "Yeah, like what the wife said was." I watched uh, Jimmy Carr one, yes, and that was I never knew how in depth of a person Jimmy Carr is. I didn't I... realize like he's, he's very deep. Like, I would I would say he has ADHD or autism at some some level. I don't know if he talks hey, about that. He, no, I think he talks about being funny and about 
how how his comedy came to him and how he came about his comedy in basically his comedy was to cheer his mum up because his mum um okay it's good idea his mum suffered his mum suffered with depression so he, he was constantly trying to make a laugh basically and i think yeah. but the story went on from there um fuck me i've gone off my train of thought now because we're talking about fucking jimmy carr um and the podcast i was watching the other, and it's talking about his parents he's yeah. talking about his mum more than anything um and just how how for granted that we take that time, yeah. You know, as you get older, you stop seeing your parents as much because you you know you're living your life and you're doing your thing and you're working and then yeah. you know you work, you come home, you sleep. I don't know for you right now, like obviously you, you're at home. You haven't I you have. haven't been in you haven't been in what like maybe like fifteen years or whatever. But I'm right now you're that. at home more than that. yeah. 2003, Maybe longer, yeah. I moved out. Yeah, 2003. There you go. 20, 19 years, yeah. 19 years. Yeah. Like, and I know right now your parents' life, you know, they, but you you are probably giving them something that they really want. Like, you're at home. Yeah. You know, you, you're you living... Because I know when I see my mum, all she wants to do is, you know, talk to me and we have conversations about all sorts of stuff and yet, or we go out for dinner and she likes to cook for me and... and when, when I was a kid, I couldn't even get a drink out of her. She might get it yourself. Whereas now, she can't do enough for me. Yeah. But the, do you, does that give you some form of happiness, the fact that you're in your older years, but yet you're spending a lot of time with your parents? Well, I live here. I I, yeah. I make I make food and go to my bedroom. I make a drink, go to my bedroom. Okay, work. Yeah, but do, do you go do you go and sit with them? Like Some, Sometimes, yeah. We'll have a chat while I'm doing stuff and... Sometimes I help out in the garden and that. So yeah, I I do spend yeah, but... a lot of t- time in my bedroom though because I'm always tired and I just chill. Yeah, but I do I do make the effort sometimes. You know. Do you ever be, do you ever lay there in bed and be like, Mom, put me some toast in? <laughs> no, because I don't eat toast. Has she got your favourite cereal back in that sort of shit? Like Any cereal. <laughs> For, Next. Forty-five. 45-year-old Mickey sat sat on the floor on a Saturday morning, Mike, watching Ninja <laughs> Turtles and <laughs> Ball Fraggle Rock cartoon. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. They'll be like, oh, just like old times. <laughs> fuck me, yeah. So what was, what was going on? Yeah, the diary of CEO. Fuck me, yeah, he's a deep bloke, man. Very, very... It just opened my eyes to a lot of what he was saying, though, and, and like, just how we evaluate life and how we appreciate things and don't appreciate things and things like that. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I like, getting back to the question of me being back home, it is good because before, I think we spoke about it, I wouldn't always come round because I was always busy. Mm. Uh, but now, even the, the little moments in the morning before work or even doing my cooking and getting stuff ready in the kitchen and that, like when I come home from work or when I come in, I go chat to them. It's uh, it's good. I I don't suppose they would ever tell you obviously what that means to them. You know, it, it probably no, means a lot to not. them that they get they get that feeling of you know they get to share those times with you. You know, you're at home. It's cool. Yeah, I hope I hope like, I'm not I'm not in the way. I mean, to be you're fair. you're in the mate. They they just they they're just fucking on a Tuesday afternoon now while you're at work. Fucking hell. They might what they might watch this now. Hey listen, Mickey's home down fair play to you. If you're still rumbling in, in the jungle, fair play. Fucking hell. <laughs> Mickey's dad. Right, he's got some uh, he's got some blue tablets in his bedroom drawer. No, I haven't. <laughs> I've, used, I've used them all. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh what so what was going on? I was gonna say. Yeah, so it's a good thing though, I think. Like you're spending time with them, like you know, you, you. I think as you get older, you start to pull things closer to you. I I I look at it this way: whereas the older I get, the things I I want to be involved in, I go in more. But everything mm. else is just going, slipping away. Like I have no no care for it, and I'm not. 
I won't apologise for that. If it doesn't interest me and I'm not bothered by it, that's it. See you later. And that, that includes people as well, because I just can't be yeah, honest. Yeah. You know, I, have I, my, I, I my core people that are important and things I have to do, like my job, go something, podcast, you know, and that's that's pretty much it, Costa. <laughs> but I think that happens as you get older is the more more things slip out of your life, one, because you allow them to, two, because they no longer fit in what you're doing, and three, because your life is no longer... If you used to lose certain aspects of your life and you go, well, actually, do you know what? Does it hold a purpose? Does it benefit me in any way? Yeah. And if it's a person, what are they doing for me? Like, are they are they hindering me? Are they helping me? Or are they just a friend? You know? Do they, do they benefit me? You know? No, it's not a case of, oh, what, what can you bring to me? Because a lot of friends... They bring nothing to you, but they're your mates, so it's okay. But it's a friend, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, are, yeah. You, are you a fr- are you a friend? And I, you know, and I think obviously your circle, you've you've got a net of people that I know of. I know you've probably got more, but a net of people that I know of that you reach out, you reach out to, you do stuff with, hmm. you hang out. You know, sometimes, like I said, even throwing a comment in a person's way of, you know, like good work, Mickey. Like you know, it's nice to see you doing what you're doing. That kind of yeah. balances that relationship because you know, oh, cheers, mate, appreciate it. I'm glad you're watching my stuff and seeing my stuff. But it, it is true, though, that the, the older you get, the more things slip away that you can't control. And I think the fear of that for me is is that realizing that I don't know, I didn't accept the evolution part of. I was going to say, if you, is that on your horizon at the moment? Do you reckon? Or not, can you, you can see it no. might happen, and you can see where it might happen. Well, I can see the good side of, obviously, the good side of things happening at the moment. You know, that's that's new, that's more life of mine to share and open and grow and yeah, yeah, yeah like, yeah. you know, it's not all, it's not all triumphs. You know, it's a lot of learning again and doing things again, and you know, that's not it's, what it's I was not sort of asking though. I know, but no, it's you're not talking, that. You're, the, t- you're talking about how I am, what yeah, I've yeah. experienced, and I said, has it happened to you yet? What we're talking about, no. where as I'm concerned, or you can see it, where it's sort of going to happen in the future for you. Or I can't see it, it no. It's, it's not no. It's not in my future as of yet um, okay. in, in any directions, but it's something that's, I do think that's about. Good. I think society, right. when, you, when you get older, you're not, following society anymore and society doesn't necessarily need you anymore i know that's petty and stupid but i think that's Mm. how it is and when you're older you don't give a shit because what you used to think was important and how you used to be perceived etc you don't care about that anymore i don't care oh i'm at at that point things i'm at that point oh okay you're on the way then i don't care i don't care what people think of me i don't care like as long as i'm doing right by my family by my job, you know, by the people that I choose to help, by my friends, you know, the good things, right? Yeah. The show, like, as long as I'm doing all the things that I want to do and I'm doing them with everything that I can do, like, I've got my own goals and I've got my own sort of aspirations and I work towards those, whether that be daily and I'll reevaluate stuff. However, I still don't give a fuck. I don't get, I don't care. Like, I don't care, like, if someone's bothered by me. I don't care, like, if I look, you know, if I dress a certain way, like, that people don't like, or, you know, fucking, you know, you should get, you should get, cut your beard, or fucking, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have a haircut of a 21 year old at your age, or, I don't care. Like, I, I've got, I don't care what people's perception is of me, hmm. but I've chose my circle, and if you're not in it, then, Fuck you know, you. I ain't bothered by you. I ain't bothered by you. <laughs> No, but, exactly. Yeah, so that is with me at the moment in terms of like I don't care. But what's also with me is the fact that I think, you know, what's going to happen in the future? How am I going to feel? You know, and I think also being being a good parent that's really sitting with me at the moment. Like I always evaluate am I a good parent? You know, and try and do all the right things. You know, whether that be reading before bed or fucking I know telling your kid to brush their teeth 220 foot 220 times before they actually do it and all that shit like 
Yeah. All the shit that like I wanted as a kid that I didn't get, like not you know from a dad figure that yeah. that I'm trying to do because that for me that's that's the hardest part is that I have like I've got a lot I've got comparisons to compare to, but I haven't got my own personal comparison like mm. now sort of thing. Yeah, and that, that's that that's that. I just want to make sure I'm doing the right thing, you know. Like, don't don't let don't let them be on an iPad too much, you know. Don't fucking tell them off all, you know. Don't tell them tweet tweets all the time. Like, they've got to be a kid to an extent. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's that fine line, isn't it? Trying to make sure you do right by them, but give them discipline because don't forget you're there to be a parent, not as a friend. And as much as the shit you go through. The good times and the bad times, they will thank you for it when they're older. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's and I they'll, think... they'll realise. Oh, yeah, you were right about that. Thank you for doing that. Think... And it, it like it just re- it just resonated with me that you can do small things that mean so much. So me and um, me and my daughter, we went we went for a walk in the woods. She took a bucket and she was just collecting conquers acorns in like gold leaves basically and she's really enjoying herself yeah um but it was just one of the things that like we went and it was in the rain and she loved it we walked ages took the dog we walked absolutely ages it got what absolutely dog? soaking wet no we had we had um at the family dog for the day oh, dogs say. plural um we took the dog out and basically, we just got soaking wet in the woods, and we had such a blast. Like it was funny. We was laughing at stuff, and and I was like, "This shit's free. Like this is free. Like you're, she's having fun. Like she's jumping around in puddles, and you know, just being a kid." All I can say to you is enjoy it, because I wish I could go back. I miss when my kids were about eight, when all that mattered to them was daddy. You know, daddy was yeah. everything. And now everything, they're they're all old, uh, a lot older, and they've all got their own lives and they're all busy. And all I do with them is just go meet them at Costa or go for lunch. That's it, really. Sometimes cinema. Like, I'm sure we'll be going to cinema soon with the old Halloween on the way. There's probably some Mm -hmm. horror films coming out. But Yeah, I remember. I mean, I remember it wasn't even that long ago that you were doing things like go into the woods with your kids and climbing trees and shit. Because I remember every photo you used to upload was like mm. one of your kid, one of your boys like upside down in a tree or, you know, <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, I remember that. I, I know which one that is. But yeah, mm. one of the kids is climbing the trees or, you know, the, you, you were always, you were doing stuff every weekend with all your kids. The old Mickey vlogs I used to put on YouTube. Still available. Yeah. I watch them sometimes and think, ah. Oh. Like, is I, that like... The, the reason I made them was because not necessarily for people to watch them, although people did quite enjoy them, I think. But for, it was like a, a video diary of my children growing up for myself. There's a lot of context there, isn't there? Like, And there's a lot of content with that context. That oh, yes, so much. They can they can look at in years to come. Of, I remember I remember, you, I remember your tr- a trip that you went on. I remember when you went to the Zip World trip. Oh, yeah. And you uploaded all that content and it was, you know, and like your kids can look yeah. look back at that stuff. Yeah. And look at what a pussy I was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like, dad, you used to be slim. What f- no, wait, dad, wait, you were slim. But then fat. you got fat. Then you were <laughs> slim again. You're like, listen, it's flu- <laughs> fluctuation, kid. Listen, we get there. Hey, I've got a, I've got a, a notch. My belt this week. I had, to, I had to like go up another notch. I was like, oh. Oh, and the trousers I'm wearing today, they're like proper, like hand loose. I can get my hand in them. They're that loose. Oh, uh, you've added a notch, you mean, to your belt? No, no, I've not added a notch. Oh, I've, I've added two, gone, two to mine. I've just gone up a notch from where I used to be. Yeah, yeah, and you get that so, little in, indent, don't you? So you know where it sits. Yeah, I can see the <laughs> light. Honestly, I've had this belt. I've got. I've got my old, old brown leather belt that I used to wear fuck me, when, back when we used to work together originally, like old days. I've got that belt. Yeah. And that, belt's ha- that belt had a lot of its own holes put into it. <laughs> Whereas now, I think 
I wouldn't be going anywhere near those old holes yet. Maybe if, maybe another. I want to get down to. I want to get down to eighty kilos. So that would yeah. be my goal. I've not I've not weighed myself for probably a month at least because every every weekend for a long time I've been busy whether it's on holiday or I've been out and about ghost hunting or whatever I've not and some some weeks I've only had three days on keto like this last week I had three days because I just did because it was yeah. I think I come back on the Monday yeah the following so, week and then I went away again on the Friday again back to Scotland for a second week running so I had three days of keto and it's just like wow uh, but I'm still eating shit at weekends and then I'm still sticking to it although it is very difficult now there's a couple I'm of times this, week, the weekends. This, this couple of times this week I thought I could eat that now I could just eat that chocolate bar I'll go buy that but I haven't See, and then I'm in the morning in the morning, I fucking thank myself. I sit there with, well, standing yeah. there brushing my teeth and think, I'm glad I didn't eat that last night. I'm I'm going through that at the moment where I'm I'm getting to 8 o'clock now, like sort of 7, 8 o'clock, and I'm going, I'm hungry. And then I'm going, yeah, but I'm not, though. I'm, not, yeah, I'm, I'm like, not, no, you're not hungry, no. I'm like, I'm like, you're not hungry. So I'm like, just sit there. I'm like, have a drink of water, sit down. And I sit there and I do things like, I don't know, I'll watch telly and fold washing up. Fucking wank. Man, I ain't got time for a wank. <laughs> Fuck me, man. My tanks are full. I ain't got time for a wank. I wish I had wank time on my hands. <laughs> Literally Fucking busy. Hands. Literally. I wish I was cupping it. I ain't been cupping it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Spider-Man, that shit. <laughs> Mate, it would that wouldn't be big enough right now, man. Not in your bucket. But, um, fuck me. Fuck, stop talking about fucking wanking. Um, yeah, I've been having that feeling of, oh, and then I, I wake up the next day, I'm like, yeah, you fucking did that. You got through last night. However, what I'm doing now, so I, this week, no, last week and this week, I am fasting from, let's say, seven o'clock. I sometimes have dinner. I like. I haven't had dinner yet, so tonight will be eight o'clock. I won't have anything after eight. Yeah. After eight, I won't have any. Okay. I won't have any after eight. After eight. After eight. Yeah. <clears throat> so I go from eight o'clock all the way up until two o'clock, the following day. Okay. With no, with, with nothing but black coffee and water. That is it. Nothing. Ugh. Right. So just black coffee, water. All the way through, had a double. I've had today so far. I've had no. I had some. I had some like Tesco do these bacon things. These bacon rushes, like or, do you know, like you get ham in a packet, like ham. You can yeah. buy bacon rashes on their own. Okay, but cooked already cooked. You just just like chew them. Like do they? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Where's that in Tesco? Tesco, Western Fable. They do them. Fuck, fuck off. So like you know like. It's like beef jerky, but two hundred quid cheaper. It's one pound twenty nine. It? It's in sandwich sandwich aisle. Where are all this? Do you know like ham and beef, corned beef, and that yeah, sort yeah. of shit is? It's there. I'll send it to you. Tesco, do it, mate. It's fucking sweet. Just put Tesco streaky ba- cooked streaky bacon. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a Google search. Tesco, mate, it's best cooked. little snack going. Cooked streaky bacon. I'll fucking be on that shit. Oh, that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have seen that. What the fuck did I not see that? Two pound eighty five. Mate, beef jerky's like and that's like ten packets about, of beef jerky in one packet. It's about five quid, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whereas beef jerky, you get about ten little ten little tiny little bits in it. And they're about four quid a packet. Uh yes, you put them in like salads and stuff, don't you, this bacon? Yeah, I mean, I don't. I just eat them as they are. Yes, that's... Wow. That might be on my agenda from now on. Yeah. Thank you, Niall. You're welcome, mate. I'm not going to give you shit. Your homework yeah. tonight is... Plan to go and get some bacon, and you've got to watch the uh, the 
TV show I told you about. That he's forgotten what it's called. Uh, Night Train, Sleeper Train, Summit Train. It's on BBC. Night Train. Uh, Night Train. Uh, but yeah, so I've been get so yeah, I'm fasting all the way through and then I'll have like a little snack like that where it's either like, like the other day I had two pieces, two pieces of bacon and two eggs and then I'll have my dinner a few hours later and I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about it. I feel, do you know what it is? It's like ticking a box every day. It's tick, it's, I'm getting, it's, it sounds so bad, but I'm getting like a good feeling from not eating. And that's not allowing myself to come to like just eating shit because I can, hmm. because nobody's telling me I can't. Yes, so if, if I, yeah, I, I it's up to me. It's up to me. Um, I but I'm, I don't know. It's I like it. I just like the fact that I'm doing it, and I'm, I'm like I'm really trying to do it. I'm trying to. At the moment, I'm doing a little bit of kettlebell in the living room. A little bit of weights, and I'm trying to gym it on a gym it on a Saturday for an hour and a Monday for an hour. Yeah, <coughs> that's it. No my, crazy stuff at the moment. My gym's cancelled now. Got rid of that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing a lot. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna fucking say I'm doing. I'm trying. I'm just trying to do little bits, but I'm really trying to focus on cutting weight first. And I'm just really listening to the fact that you cannot out train a bad diet. So what? Why are you trying to? What's your goal to be sculpted? Why do you want that? Is there a reason? It's not to be sculpted. No, no, it's not to no. be sculpted. It's just, no, you, it's, it's just you want to cut. It's what just, are you cutting? Cutting weight. Yeah, cutting weight. Yeah, just cutting oh. weight. I just I want to I want to lose I want to lose weight, like because I'm not where I'm I'm not where I want to be. I'm not happy where I am. Yeah. Um, and it's not like a you know, I'm not punishing myself for anything. It's not like I'm trying to you know fat shame myself but I'm not comfortable within myself to say it's good to fat shame should... yourself that works for me I love oh shit. don't get me wrong like, I'm, saying it, I'm saying it I'm saying here but but to, in my in to myself I look at a photo look at a photo of fucking hell and I'm like when have you ever been like that sort that shit out that's why it's good to have it as your screen saver on your phone whenever you turn your phone on saying you fat cunt and picture I, I used to do that <coughs> yeah and it's like, I'm not, put that chocolate bar down. Get out of the shop. So, Mickey, you, you've been on my screen saying for ages, calling you a fat cunt. How'd you get that picture? No, honest, honestly, like, I am trying to, I'm just trying to really do it. I'm just trying to say, listen, stop talking about it. Stop reading so much. Stop being, because for me, I know that I'm a kinesthetic learner. If I, if I need to do something, I need to physically do it. Like I've got to grab the fucking, you know, grab the ball, the and I've got to physically bite the horns and fucking do it. I can't talk about it. I can't plan it. I don't want to read shit. I don't like because I always feel like I always read in depth into stuff. Like I'm always like, oh, I'll, I'll take, you know, I'll read about this great vitamin that gives you all this energy. And actually, do you know what? Just eat the right foods. Just eat the right foods. Like, yeah, no shortcuts. And you, you'll be fine. Like. Stop eating shit. Like you make excuses. Like I was, I was, I was reading about the carnival diet, right? Mm. And I've really wanted to do the carnival diet because I was like, "Hey, I could do the carnival diet. A little bit, a little bit of veg, loads of meat." That's and then I'll read, and then I read, carnival diet gives you this, and carnival diet, you know, your risk of cancer is it goes up. If you... What That's is my risk my... of cancer? What is my risk of cancer of like drinking fizzy drinks and flapjacks and fucking sugar and processed food? Sugar will give you cancer. Taking sugar out of your diet reduces the risk massively. So don't re listen to that bullshit. So you, I always, that's the thing, right? It's kind of like you'll get so much good information that'll make you want to do it. And then you'll go, this little bit of bad information, you'll be like, no, I'm out. Yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. But yeah. So that's where I'm at at the moment. I'm quite happy with what I'm doing. I'm seeing visual stuff now. So I'm, vi I'm, I'm seeing it for real now. So that's good. That's what we like to see. Yeah, when you when you see the movements and the, you see it's working. It keeps you motivated. Yeah, it's definitely doing that for sure. Fuck me, we are out already. We are fifty nine minutes and thirty five seconds. Guys, look at us going chatting shit. We didn't even have an agenda today. It, it was it was it was daylight when Niall started, and now it's fucking dark. I can't even see him. No, it's dark. I'm in a graveyard. 
Hey, say hello. <laughs> right, they know you well here. They know you well. This this church though is astonishing. Like you should, like it's a beautiful church. You should come and have a look at this. All right. You, I'm, I'm, I mean, you spend I'm, you spend enough time in graveyard, so to be fair. Yeah, I'm in London on Saturday. But... I'm in London. What are you doing in um, London? Going to an event in Anglefield Green with Mark and Rich. Uh, um, Mickey's yeah. out with the lads. Yeah. 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 Got to film a podcast with them on location. So. Oi! That'll be good. Yeah. So it should be a good weekend. Sweet. Sweet cool, as a nut. Well, guys, thank you for joining us on another fantastic episode of Dad's Lads and Kebabs. I'd say so myself. Yeah. Um, you know what to do. Like, share. Go and watch Night Sleeper, Night Train. Something to do with trains on BBC hijacking thing. Go and watch it. Let us know what you think. I think it's fucking wicked. Mickey's got to watch it before the next episode. Guys, I don't know what there's left to say, but, you know, deuces and fuck off. Au revoir.